What up, what up, what up? Guess where we are? Guess where we are? New York City. Ah, let's go. 300, 300, 300. You see the trophy, ho? You talking to the breadwinner. The motivators of the culture. They got us. They can't do what we do. What about it? It just goes on and on and on. Yo, what up? It's Kev Lyles. We're back for another episode of Club 300 Unplugged. And we're in New York City celebrating New York City Music Month, the extended play. Thank you to the Mayor's Office of Entertainment for having us. Listen, guys, four nights we're going to be here in New York City celebrating music. Music is medicine. Music is what I love. And the next artist we got up is my man. Um, I wanted to ask a, a, a question. You know, New York City, so many great artists. So many great artists have come from here. So many great artists have performed here. What's special about New York to you? There's just so much going on. I, not as much right now, <laughs> right? But like in, in the olden days, there was just so much every night, you know, every venue like this one. And I feel like being surrounded by that hustle makes people continue to want to hustle, for better or for worse, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That has, mm -hmm. takes its toll in other ways. But, um, you know, there's uh, so many different venues to open at. For example, if you're a band in our position, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to, you know, get those coveted opening act slots at mm -hmm. venues like Brooklyn Bowl, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, so there's always another thing you can do, another venue you can hit up to try and kind of get that angle. There's definitely a music community, you know what I mean? Like all the kind of New York City musicians who are at approximately my band's, you know, stature or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We all kind of know each other and help mm -hmm. each other out but there's also that competition a little bit, yeah, right? right. Which, which I love personally. I don't know, you have to get creative in New York too in a way, like my musician friends who are Nashville based or LA based, like, you know, they can rehearse in their, in their basements or whatever, but we have a whole different situation <laughs> happening here. And I feel like that adversity, uh, you know, listen, I think it's been a good thing for us. Pray to her every week. My old lady, no priors lately, but pray to weep. I think she break the law to say, My old lady, I hear winning like a lottery. Why you lady for weeks, losing like a robbery? A lot of weeks turn to years in an island. Turn to years in an island. Make you smile at a funeral. Funeral. Charge the doctor for a physical. Physical. Drops the movies where the blind from. Thank you. 
Yeah, I mean, we've been based in New York City for it's almost inception. So, yeah, yeah. so it's many like, years. Yeah, now um, it's like 10 or 12. I live in Brooklyn, Coach lives in Harlem. Uh, it makes its way into some of our songs. One of the songs, uh, Dirty Floors, is kind of about living in New York City mm -hmm. and that, that grind, that hustle. Um, you know, we talk to our LA based musician yeah. friends and they just, <laughs> their life seems easy. It's a little bit different. I mean, the sun <laughs> and the beach make it where like the songs no, feel and, a lot happier. And also, no, and also just like the, the logistically yes. the lugging amps around. Yeah, having and, a car. And have parking, you know, so I feel like, you know, that New York, I mean, we've, I don't know, I've lived here for now 10 years mm -hmm. or something. So like the grit and the, the, I don't want to say struggle, but like the grind of having New York always makes itself into the music. Even if it's just like, oh, just to get to this songwriting session, I had to like take a lot of trains and like there was a lot of transfers. So it was just like, a, lot, a lot of transfers. A lot of transfers. Those trans <laughs> the transfers always That's hard. a struggle. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, you know, I mean, your environment always makes its way. Thanks, Andy, appreciate it. That's Andy Suzuki and The Method. Guys, 300 Unplugged, live here in New York City. New York City Music Month, the extended play. Thank you to the Mayor's Office of Entertainment for having us. Listen guys, continue to subscribe, like, comment, let us know what's next. We're gonna be in a residency here in New York, so keep it locked. Remember, creativity cannot be quarantined. My name is Kevin Lyles, God bless you and good night. People who push the culture forward, they not us, they can do what we do. 300, 300, 300, 300. Get with us, we gonna change your life. Yeah.